Hey guys, Legion here and welcome to a new Jurassic World Evolution 2 speed build video. Today we will be building a stadium sort of thing for the Uteraptor and in the next few days I'm also going to be building for the rest of the three other animals uh, from the new pack that we just got like one day ago or something. So if you want to see that in the future, if you want to see those other builds, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for those. The reason that I'll be starting off with the Uteraptor is that first it's my favorite species from the new pack and generally it, it's also currently my favorite species in the game uh, that's for multiple reasons. Uh, first I have really loved uh, raptors for like a long time and getting l such an accurate raptor design is really awesome. Uh, I was really excited to get the Uteraptor one day in the game and I have to say that they really executed it perfectly and it also has really incredible skins. But uh, at some point I also did a poll on which species you guys were most excited for and the Uteraptor won that one. The next one was the Concavenator I think, then we had the Tarbo and the Gigantoraptor. But I think I'm just going to be building in the order of Uteraptor, Concavenator, Gigantoraptor and then last the Tarbosaurus. Speaking of what I'm building right now, I'm currently building the stadium for the Uteraptor exhibit. Um, basically when the uh, benches were revealed I had the idea to build a stadium like this. Um, basically s uh, sort of stacking the path, you sort of have a path uh, paths behind each other on different elevation levels. Uh, I did this actually before in this game already, but now that we have the benches I think building this becomes a lot more believable. I also used the mortar walls sort of as a backdrop and then in front of that I, s I later placed the benches. Uh, it took me quite a while to build this, uh, as you can see it's probably the longest thing I uh, built in this um, whole speed build. Uh, but I really like how it turned out, it's a really interesting thing and I'm probably gonna inco be incorporating something like this in my future parks as well. Now I'm sort of building this little plaza over here uh, where I'm incorporating a little shop and I actually like using the shops uh, sometimes just uh, having paths on two sides of the shop and then uh, placing the entrance like on the corner, that's something that you can do actually and I always think that makes the shop uh, it incorporates them in sort of more of a unique way instead of always just having the front facing the path. Now I'm doing the whole uh, rest of the fence outline for the exhibit and I think this is a quite interesting shape and I always like in building exhibits like this that sort of have many different angles uh, from where you can view the exhibit, from where you can look into it and have a really interesting shape because of that. And yeah, basically if you want to upgrade your parks, if you've always just been doing simple shaped exhibits uh, with viewing areas just like on one side, um, I really recommend you guys to do something like this. Maybe you can even replicate this build if you can't come up with anything on your own. Um, of course you can f feel free to do that, you know, uh, because this thing uh, you can actually really easily incorporate to your park. Uh, I have like an entrance, I even built like an entrance as at um, some point in this exhibit. Um, and then also put like a Jurassic Park uh, gate uh, right there to sort of make it like a little section and to make it feel like it's a big attraction in the park. Sort of my challenge with this build and what I want to incorporate was a lot of the new decorations we actually got with the new update. Uh, I didn't do a, a video on this, I just did a video on the uh, DLC creatures that we got, on the whole DLC and my reaction on that. Um, but now I think it's the perfect time to talk about the decorations. and. To s basically say that they're not like groundbreaking decorations. You can't really compare them with something like uh, the Jurassic Park Free, uh, the Jurassic Park Anniversary decorative update, or something like the walls from the Malta DLC. Like those are really unique decorations and something really different. But I think this decora this uh, these decorations were really needed as well because they really just add a new layer to your parks. Um, I especially like that we got some new fountains uh, after a longer time now. It's been like one and a half years or something since we got uh, the last new fountain because before we had three and now we have five and uh, we got two new ones I really like those and it's just gonna make um, it's just gonna add more variety to your parks because you're not always just gonna have uh, so many rep repetitions uh, when it comes to your fountains but uh, the bigger attractions of course uh, the bigger decorations of course are the benches and the bins which is probably what people are going to be most excited for and I really had a lot of fun using them in this build uh, as you can see I, I already used the benches for um, a really unique kind of um, purpose but you can also just of course add another layer of detail to your park with the benches and as well as the bins which I also did right here and yeah I had a lot of fun doing that 
and I'm really excited that we have these decorations now in the game, as well as the banners, they're also fun to use, and uh, the flower pots, they were something that I was uh, I wasn't really excited for something at, in the beginning, but now that we have them, I actually use them quite a lot. Uh, let's see how that how that's gonna stay. If that's gonna stay like that, or if that's just the hype from the decorations being new. Uh, but currently, I, I have to say that these flower pots are extremely versatile, and in general, I would say that this decoration set um, really is just good to round out the uh, set of decorations we already have in the game. So I'm really happy that we got all of these new decorations. But now coming back to the build that you're actually seeing on the screen now, um, the one for the Utraptor. Uh, I'm currently building the inside of the exhibit, uh, decorating, um, the sort of building like nature and everything. Uh, what I just did was build like a little div uh, dividing uh, piece like uh, of nature right there, a little dividing forest between the two viewing areas because you have two different areas with uh, viewing galleries right there and that's something I really like doing because uh, what you have to do basically uh, is you have to provide a different view for every viewing gallery uh, if you have multiple ones in an exhibit. Uh, the only exception for those uh, for that would be if you have like two next to each other which is something I also like uh, to do because it just adds some uniqueness I think. Um, it add some difference uh, because you don't all, uh, you don't just have the same sized viewing galleries uh, in the whole exhibit in your whole park uh, it sort of looks like uh, one bigger viewing gallery maybe even uh, but yeah dividing sort of the exhibit up and having some separations right there so you can see everything from uh, one viewing gallery and you can see the other things from the other viewing gallery and you also have the log over there and that also uh, has like a nice overlook uh, onto the river that the Uterpters will be drinking from uh, which is actually the only attraction from where you can see that and then of course the stadium has a view on the feeder for the Uteraptors uh, so yeah that's uh, like four really uh, different and unique viewing areas and that's really just gonna make your exhibits a whole lot more interesting for this uh, little uh, exhibit speed build, I also did uh, some more geometric path work uh, right next to those viewing galleries uh, compared the, uh, to the more flowy and natural path that I usually do in my builds. But I think it fits in well with the more geometric shape of the exhibit as well. And I also had some of the more flowy path on the other side where the stadium is and you also have that curved fence uh, from the stadium of course. I also built this exhibit in the tiger biome instead of building it in like a desert because it fits more with I guess the Uteraptor where it probably would have lived because it's from Utah and that's more of a deserty region. But I decided on the tiger biome because I always just think that looks very nice with sort of uh, dinosaurs and these uh, feathered creatures and I kind of associate them more with some like colder biomes but I also can really see them fitting in the desert for some reason. But I decided to put the concavenators build in the desert and the Uteraptors build uh, is also a fun idea I had with the new decorations, especially with the new picnic benches. Uh, I bit pretty much incorporated these because I want to use all of the new decorations uh, in this uh, build, uh, but like not uh, every decoration, I don't mean like uh, every single one of the flower pots and every single one of the flags, but you know what I mean. And I sort of cut off this little eating area for them with like the picnic benches and parasols uh, with these uh, wooden panels that uh, have been in the game for a long time now. And I think these are pretty cool. They sort of create like a barrier, but you can still see through it quite well. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. I also quite like how that little path shape turned out over there, that little, that little uh, oval sort of thing uh, to change up the layout of the plaza because before I didn't really have anything planned for that. Um, I pretty much just uh, had the square plaza and I thought that would be really boring because the plaza in front of that at the little walkway is also just a square shape and I think that works out quite well to sort of uh, differentiate this plaza from other ones and to make it more interesting. Anyways, uh, coming back to the topic of the Uteraptor, the species that this whole build is focused on, I'm really, I'm really happy with the Uteraptor. As I already said, it's my new favorite species in game. And really after I finished this build, I just spent some time, you know, looking at them. Uh, even after recording all of the cinematics that you're gonna see uh, later after this. Uh, but yeah, they also have really fun animations, especially the social animations. It's really fun, it's really playful. So yeah, the Uteraptor is my favorite creature now in the game, and it even dethroned the Uteranus. Uh, so I hope that you guys are enjoying the Uteraptor and the rest of the DLC creatures as well. And maybe let me know down below in the comment what is your favorite creature from the DLC, and maybe even what's your favorite creature in the game, you know, and if that changed anything with uh, the DLC, or if it's still the same as before. 
But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And stay tuned for the next video, the Concavenator build. And I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy the cinematics. Bye, guys.